In this video, we will be detonating Phobos, a well-known ransomware family named after the Greek god of fear, that utilizes the same infection vectors as many others such as RDP, stolen credentials, or the traditional phishing email, primarily affecting businesses. We have obtained a fresh sample from August 31st and configured this machine in audit-only mode to allow the file to run. Upon execution, it notifies us through the UAC that it's trying to execute a, an app from an unknown publisher. We click yes. One of the first actions that it takes is that it disables the Windows firewall and copies itself into two other locations on the hard drive. As soon as it encrypts the system, it presents the ransom node with information on what has happened and what are the next steps in order to try to negotiate and recover uh, the files. If we go into BlackBerry Optics, our AI-based EDR solution, we can see all the different actions taken by this ransomware, such as the visible use of uh, NetSH in order to disable the firewall via command line. As you can see here, it opens cmd.exe and then it executes NetSH in order to disable the firewall on the system. It also makes sure that recovery of the files is uh, it becomes really difficult by deleting the shadow copy through multiple ways by the use of WMIC, BSS admin, WB admin in order to make it a little bit more difficult to the administrator and make sure that the shadow file is uh, deleted. Focus also comes with some password stealing functionality and uh, as you can see here it tries to dump the credentials not just from the existing browsers uh, in, in the computer but also from multiple commonly used applications. If we make an introspection into uh, and we go into the root cause analysis for uh, this actual threat, we can see this file creates persistence points in the registry in order to make sure that if we reboot the computer for some reason before it actually encrypts our computer, our information, it's able to run again whenever we reboot the computer. It also injects into S SBC host and we can see all the different steps in a play-by-play -play view. We can also take a look at this, all of these different steps in a more extended vision and from each one of the points where we can highlight here, we can automatically create Insta queries within our infrastructure to see in which other computers in the network we may have seen this file before or any of the symptoms that we have seen here. Administrators can configure automated response within our context analysis engine or CAE to proactively respond to each one of these DTPs and stop this threat in the earliest stage possible. But nothing bits our temporal predictive advantage, which allows us to prevent threats from executing in a matter of milliseconds with no reliance on cloud connectivity or frequent signature updates. We are going to copy the same file that we initially tested. As soon as we try to execute, our machine learning models from 2015 are able to stop this file from executing in a matter of milliseconds. To take this further, Let's try with 85 different variants of Phobos. We are going to copy all these files into the computer. And what we will do here is that we will run uh, a loop in order to go through all the different files in this folder and execute them or try to execute them um, all at once. As you can see here, we are trying to execute all these files all at once and as you can see here we can automatically block all of them in seconds. This is the power of our silence AI models on BlackBerry Protect 
we could have prevented all these variants many years before they ever existed. Prevention is possible with BlackBerry.